Brexit. It's how people in the UK say, we're fucking screwed. <laughs> and now, things are more Brexit than ever. The future of Britain, one of America's closest allies, is uncertain right now as the Brexit deadline looms. In a last-ditch effort to end the Brexit deadlock, British Prime Minister Theresa May promised Parliament she will resign if it backs her withdrawal plan. If May's plan fails, Parliament would have until April 12th to come up with an alternative or exit the European Union without a deal. Man, this thing is so crazy. She says she's gonna resign. They voted eight times, none of the votes got accepted, and now nearly three years after voting to leave the European Union, the UK still can't figure out how to actually do it. Right now, Brexit is the world's biggest escape the room. That's all this is. <laughs> Everyone's just confused, like, have you tried writing a new trade agreement? Does it work? It's not working. <laughs> what about the Irish border? It's stuck, it's stuck. <laughs> Expelliarmus, that's not a real thing. <laughs> Well, it was worth a try. All right, we could just stay in the room. I like the room. I don't want to leave the room. Well, bloody hell, it wouldn't be an escape the room if we didn't escape, did it? Well, I know this seems complicated, but let me break it down for you. John Oliver! <laughs> John Oliver, you're here to save us. No, actually, I live in America now, so this is your <laughs> problem. But I do have a very funny way to explain how totally <laughs> screwed you are. So bloody <laughs> screwed. <laughs> oh, my God! So that's basically Brexit. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You know, to be honest, we shouldn't be surprised that the British are taking this long to leave Europe. I mean, they aren't good at leaving anything. You know, pubs, uh, colonies, yeah? Why do you think Alfred is still living with Batman? <laughs> a 40-year-old man doesn't need a nanny. He just doesn't know when it's time to leave. Batman's probably like, I told you I can take care of myself, Alfred. He's like, you just crank it, sir. How about a little bat nap? <laughs> I'm like, okay, Alfred, only if you give me my bat blankie. Of course, sir, of course, yes, of course, sir. In other news, Jussie Smollett. A month ago, the Empire actor was attacked by two Trump supporters who turned out to be Nigerian weightlifters, <laughs> who turned out to be American brothers. <laughs> then after Jussie was arrested for faking a hate crime, all the charges were suddenly dropped for no reason. And now the story is getting weird. Just when you thought the case of Jussie Smollett couldn't possibly have any more twists and turns. It does again. Jesse Smollett uh, told police that he was attacked by two men wearing masks. Um, now his attorney says one of them might have even been in whiteface. It took me all of five minutes to Google. You know, I was looking up the brothers, and one of the first videos sh that showed up actually was one of the brothers in whiteface doing a Joker monologue with white makeup on. And so it's not, it's not implausible. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> so now... Jussie's lawyer says he might have thought those Nigerian guys were white guys because they were wearing makeup under their ski masks. <laughs> and she says that makes sense because she saw a video where one of them was in whiteface. Now, first of all, that's not whiteface, <laughs> all right? That's Joker face, <laughs> all right? That's not how white people look. No one sees that and goes, oh, hey, is that Kyle? <laughs> Who gets confused with this? <laughs> and just by the way, by Nigerian movie production standard, that YouTube clip is a blockbuster. I mean, that movie... <laughs> In fact, I actually hope they make a Nigerian Joker movie. It would be amazing. <laughs> be the best thing ever. Be like, ah, why so serious, Batman? Oh, huh? Can you answer that for me, Batman? Why are you so serious, huh? <laughs> and also, why do you still have a nanny? You are a grown man, Batman, <laughs> huh? It's time to grow up, huh? <laughs> and finally, finally, this is a story that really affected me personally. Uh, I've lived in New York City for almost four years now. And you know what I love about this amazing city? Is how multicultural it is. Like, you can bring your own everything to this place. Your own music, your own language, your own style, and there will be space for it. But one thing New Yorkers will not tolerate is you messing with their food. Hold the cream cheese and lay off the locks. A Bagelgate controversy has exploded on social media. Well, St. Louis man is taking some serious heat for having his bagels sliced a little differently. He bought the bagels for his office and had them sliced vertically like bread. He said it was a hit at the office. However, some called it a crime against bagels. The NYPD's chief of detectives also weighed in saying it was out of the department's jurisdiction but he says it would never happen in New York City. Yeah, that's right, never in New... Are you kidding me? 
Are you kidding? You know what? As a New Yorker who's adopted the city, this boils my blood. <laughs> Come on, man. You don't bread slice bagels? What, do you eat pizza with a knife and fork as well? Huh? You eat sushi with your ass? What are you doing? <laughs> There's only one proper way to eat a bagel. And now you guys know it because you're New Yorkers. I don't need to tell you this, but for everyone else out there, it's really simple when you're eating a bagel, all right? What you do is you've got your bagel, you've got your lox, and you've got your cream cheese, okay? That's what you got, okay? And then what you do is you try and put everything <laughs> in the blender. So you put the cream cheese in the blender with, with the lox as well, okay? And then you get the bagel in there. There we go, like that. I don't know what you're thinking. Yeah, that looks a little bit dry. That's why I add a lot of soy sauce, right? <laughs> but not too much. <laughs> just one bottle, okay? And then what you do is you make sure you got that all in, and then you just blend that all. Come, come on, come on. You got, it's like really tough, but it's, it's great. It's delicious. You get that really chunky. Oh, that's, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we go, and that's, how you make. Mm, mm, mm. That's how you make a New York baby. L'chaim, baby.